Hello, my name is Keshwani. This K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to read and write Urdu, and we are also here because we want to learn how to read and write Hindi. We are doing both together. Today is our day number seven. On the on the first four days, we learn some alphabets, we learn some letters rather, and we learn Aki Matra, and we met some words using Aki Matra up to day number four. On day number five and six yesterday and day before yesterday, today is our day number seven, on day number six and day number five, we started the second matra, the Iki matra, and we learned some new words. Uh, we learned to write new words using Iki matra and Aki matra. Now we have two matras. Today we'll do part three of Iki matra. It will have four parts, just like Aki matra had day one through four. This will also have four parts. So today is our part number three. Let's begin, shall we? So a quick, very quick summary, a, a, a capitulation of what we learned about Iki Matra, the things they, that we already did, did repeat yesterday on day number six. We're going to do it one more time, a, a recapitulation, a recap. So, Choti Iki Matra and Badi Iki Matra. Uh, e sound, when it appears in a word, it could be either short E or long E. Short E is what we call the Choti Iki Matra, the long E is the Badi Iki Matra, obviously. The Choti Iki Matra in Urdu takes a special symbol called Zer. It takes a Zer. So if you have a bur, a bay, if you have a bay, a, this is bur, if you want to turn into B sound, the short one, you in Hindi you put a line, a stick to the left of it, and in Urdu you put a line underneath the letter. And that 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 line underneath the letter is called zer. This thing is called zer. Similarly, to convert p into a p, we'll put a zer and it becomes a p. And so on and so forth. When you want to make a badi ki matra, for badi ki matra in Urdu, we have to use a letter called choti ye. Choti ye is used to, to have badi ki matra. We learned choti ye and badi ye. For example, here, if you want to make a b into a b, it joins the choti ye and it becomes b. And in Hindi, you will take your b and put a stick to the right. That's all. P into a P, you take your P and so on, join it with the Choti A and it becomes a P. And then you put a stick to the right. If you have a Dal, Dal is a D sound, Dal, you join a Choti A and it becomes a D. Because Dal does not join. Dal does not join with the, with the letter that appears to, to its right hand side. It can only join to the right, uh, to the left hand side either. If something appears after Dal, it does not join. It can only join stuff to its right. So it, D just remains like this and this is your D and so on and so forth. What about A? Uh? We did B, P, we did B, P, T. What about Aleph? Let's take a look at it on the top. In Hindi, to make an E sound, which is Aleph Zer E, in Hindi they have a special symbol for it. It looks like this. In Urdu, we do not have a special symbol for the sound. That's why we have to use alif and a zabar. Do you understand? But in Hindi, they have a unique letter for it. Uh, this, they have a unique letter for it that makes a short E sound. Similarly, if you want to make a long E sound, alif and a choti e, if you want to make this sound in Hindi, there is a letter for it. It looks like this. And that makes a long E sound. So anything that begins with alif, which employs either Choti ki matra or badi ki matra, if it begins with alif, you will see either this one or that one. Just begin. So we'll do the words in, in pairs as we have been doing, so that we can see the contrast between the choti ki matra and badi ki matra. So here's the first word. Now, we learned the, we learned the he, I'm going to quickly repeat one more time so that we understand it. He, Her, which in which in Urdu is called He, which in Urdu is called He. In Urdu, He comes in four flavors. We saw the four flavors. This is a He. This guy right here is a He. This guy is a He. It looks like this. That guy is a He. This is a He. And finally, this is a He. They all He. The writer has to know which he is to use for in order for the spelling to be correct. You just have to know the spelling. 
Just like in English, when you're learning English, you have to know the spelling of each and every word. You have to know which hair to use. This last hair is a very special hair. It is called Do Chashmi hair. We have not learned it yet. Do Chashmi is used to produce, sound, to, to produce sounds like to convert B into a B, to convert T into a T, to convert K into a K. We use this hair. Just like you would in English. Just like you would do in English. You would put an H next to a letter to convert B sound into a B sound, to T sound into a T sound, K into K. Just like that, we do the exact same thing in Urdu because we do not have unique letters for these sounds. Unlike Hindi. Hindi has unique letters for these sounds. We do not in Urdu. So what do we do? Well, we do what we just talked about. We, we use this hair. Right now we're going to use a word which is going to use this hair. We need this hair. Let's look at the word. So we have our ha is going to join the ra and then the na. He, re, and noon. He, re, and noon. Let's put them together. Ha, ra, and na. Haran, as you know, as you and I both know, haran, there is no such word in. Yeah, either, either of the languages, Hindi or Urdu, which that's because it's missing a matra. Which matra do you suppose is missing? Obviously it's missing either Iki matra, Choti Iki matra or Badi Iki matra because that's what we are learning today. It is missing Choti Iki matra. We, we need Choti Iki matra for He. We need a Zer here. When we put a Zer here, it takes a Choti Iki matra and now we have a word. The word is Hiran. Hiran is in deer. Hiran is in deer. Let's do the next word. I need the room. I'm going to raise all of this thing. We don't need any of this. The next word, before we write the word, is going to use this letter. It's called Fe. We learned it before already, right there. There is a dot underneath it. I wonder why the, why the dot is there. Why is there a dot underneath this thing? Let's talk about that. It has a dot underneath it. Again, this is something we are repeating. We are repeating ourselves very quick. I'm going to make it, try to make it very quick as, quick as possible. In Urdu, as, I just, as we just talked about it, we do not have letters for B, we do not have letter, letters for B, we do not, in Urdu, we do not have letter for Th, we do not have letter for K, and similarly, we do not have a letter for PH. Th. But Hindi does. Hindi does. So this letter that you see right here, without the dot, sorry, without the dot, this letter C that you see here, without the dot, is exact equivalent of the sound of pH, as in phone, philosophy, physics, physiology, that for. Since we do not have a letter for it in Urdu, since we do not have a unique letter for it, what do we do? We take our pa, we take our pa, which is letter, which is pe, and we combine it with Choti uh, Do Chashmi hai. We just talked about it. We combine it with Do Chashmi hai. And when it's combined, it looks like this. And that is exactly the Hindi letter F. But Hindi, on the other hand, in Urdu, we do not have this letter, this sound, F. So we combine the two letters just like you do in English. So in, in Urdu, this does not exist as a le unique letter. In Hindi, this letter does not exist. This letter does not exist in Hindi. So when we want to produce this sound to remind us which is equivalent to, which is exact equivalent of Fe, this, this letter is called, the name of the letter is Fe. To remind ourselves that we're using Fe, this letter Fe, to remind ourselves, we write Fe like this, Hindi, which is this one actually, but to, they improvise that by putting a dot in here, to remind ourselves that when you put a dot, we're talking about fe. We're looking about fe, the letter F, the letter F, and not PH. For example, France is spelled with an F, which is what we're talking about here. What language do they speak in Iran? In Iran, the language that they speak, in English we call it Persian, but in our language, your language and mine, in Urdu and in Hindi, the language that they speak in Iran is called Farsi. And Farsi also begins with F. Farsi, the word Farsi begins with F, not PH. That's why we need this F. Let's write the word Farsi. Let's write the word Farsi. So we have Fe plus Aleph, that's going to make a Fa, 
and it's going to look like this when they combine them together. Fa, ro, and then seen, and a choti here. Since it's choti here, we need a bari ki matra, but let's see how it joins. So when it joins, it only has this part, everything else disappeared. It only has this part, everything else disappeared. It takes this part, and the choti here joins. And that's Farsi. Let's write it here. But not, not the pH, but the F. Now, hence the dot. Hence the dot. This dot right here is this guy right here. Far. And then we need a badi ki matra. There you go. Farsi. How do we combine that? Well, we already did it. This is it. This is all it's going to do. Let's put it together again properly. Farsi. Farsi means Persian. Farsi. You see how it looks when you do write it freehand? Farsi. Let's learn to write one more. Let's learn to write the language of one more word. Or rather, what the hell? Let's learn to write the name of one more lang language. Let's learn to write a word for another language. And the, the letter that we're going to now, letter that we, that we need to use now, the letter that we need to use now is also something that does not exist in Hindi. Which is this letter right here? It's called Ain. It's called Ain. We learned it before. Sometimes I'm fairly certain. Right there on day number six. Yesterday, as a matter of fact, Ain. Ain makes a uh sound, but it's grottle. Uh, not uh. It doesn't exist in Hindi. So what do what do they do in Hindi? They just use uh. In Hindi, you just use uh. So Ain is approximately equal to uh. Whereas Aleph. Whereas Aleph, again you see the dot because Aleph when we write it in Urdu, let's write Aleph shall we? So here is your A uh, and then Lam and since it's a Choti Iki Matra, it's going to take a Zer, A, uh, Li and then Fa, there you go. And since it is this F, we have to have a dot. We have to have a dot here to remind ourselves that it ends with an F and not PH, Aleph. Let's write another word, the, lang the name of our other language beginning with Ain. It's not going to use letter, it's not going to use Aleph, it's going to use Ain. Let's do it here. So this makes a uh sound. Oh, by the way, this, this Ain, when it appears in the short form and is about to join another letter, it loses its shape. It does no longer looks like this, it looks like this. Which is what this is. Uh, R, so let's write it here. Uh, R. And then B and a Y, a B and a Choti Y. What do you suppose it is? Arabi. Arabi as in Arabic. That's all. Let's write another word with a Choti Iki Matra. This one is a Badi Iki Matra, obviously, as you can see right there. Badi Iki Matra. Let's write a word with a Choti Iki Matra. Ba. Ba. R and then Sheen. Sheen hence in three dots. Sheen. We learned all of this thing before. Somewhere here we learned the Sheen. Sheen and Sheen. We have right there. Lay number four. Sheen and Sheen. So this is your Sheen. Baras. I have never heard of such a word. Have you? There is no such word called Baras in Hindi or Urdu. We may think Iki Matra. In order to be more precise, we may think Choti Iki Matra. It's not Baras. It is Barish. It needs a zero underneath here. And oh, I left no room for myself. Right there, Barish. I left no room for myself. Barish. You know what Barish is? It's rain. Let's try another word with a Choti Iki Matra. Do you remember this word? Hey. Of course you do. We just talked about it. Hey comes in four different flavors. So how does the author know? How does the writer know which bloody hell hey to use? For a given word, I already gave you the answer. My answer was there is no answer. One simply has to know it, just like you would memorize the spelling of each and every single word that you learn in English. The same thing, the writer has to know the correct spelling. Here we're going to use this her. When this her is about to join something, when this her is about to join something, it loses its shape and all of this thing goes away. And it looks like this. It, it, it doesn't go down, it begins to go up because it's about to join something. And all of this part goes away. You see? Her. Then we have Sa. 
This is this this is her and this is Sa. This is seen and then seen and when it joins the alif it becomes it loses the wrong part, it's just two of them and then alif. Ha, sa and then ba. Let's erase all of this thing so we don't get confused. And let's join them together. There we go. Ha, sa, ba. We got the same exact problem one more time. There is no such word called hasab. We need a choti ki matra. We need a choti ki matra underneath ha. Ha needs a zer. Ha. He needs a zer. It's called zer, this symbol. In Hindi you call it chodi ki matra. Ha needs a zer. And when we do that, here we go. Now we have a word. Hisab. Oh, I know what hisab is. Hisab kitab. Hisab is in doing the arithmetic, doing the sum. Let's look at the next pair. We are doing them in pairs. Choti ki matra and badi ki matra. The next pair we have here. We have a go, which we call gaf. It's called gaf, and then it's going to join. Here we have a lam and an aleph that's going to join. This is a pair. They're married to each other. That's an aki matra. Lam is going to take aki matra. So let's do that first. So first we have a go, then la, and then sin. So put a so there. There we go. Again, we have got the same problem. Galas, there is no word galas. We need a choti ki matra on ga. We need a zer underneath this guy. And now we have a word. The word is gilas. Gilas is in gilas. Let's put them together. How are we going to put them together? So when ga is about to join something, it changes the shape. When ka, when ka is about to join something, it changes the shape. It becomes this. Oh, sorry, that's not what I meant to say. When ka is about to join something, a next letter, it changes the shape and it just becomes this part. That's a ka. That's the same as that. A ga would be just like that. If we just put a line there and it becomes a line here. And now it's about to join something. It's about to join lam. It's about to join lam. Voila. And then alif, alif is going to get up and Jump right in the tummy. It's going to jump right in the tummy of Lam. And then we have a so. Let's rewrite it freehand because when I don't write it freehand, it comes out kind of weird. Let's write it freehand. Glass. Glass, as in glass. There is a zero. Let's write a word. With the bari ki matra. We, we learn to write the names of, uh, of two of the languages. We did Arabi and we did Farsi. Let's do, let's do a name of one more language. Name of one more language, which is going to be a little tricky. Let's see what, what we can do. Again, the same letter F. So we know it's going to start with the letter F and not PH. This is equal to F. Let's write the F, and to remind ourselves that we are using letter F, we have to put a dot in the middle, we look, we're talking about F and not PH. So, so here's the F, then we have a Ra, I'm going to put them together, that's a Ra, that's how it looks, Ray and the Alif, then we have a Noon, so so far it's Fra, then we have a Sin and a Choti, that's the body ki matra. And then we'll have another pair of seen. We'll have another pair of seen and show to you. That's what it is. It has, it has six parts to it. So four, four in the beginning, then a ra, then a noon, that's a no, that's a noon, and then a C and a C. Let's see what it reads. It reads Fran CC. Fran CC. As you can see, I'm doing it on purpose. I'm pronouncing the N and I'm accentuating it. I'm emphasizing it to make a point. The point I'm trying to make it make it here is make here is that the word is Fran CC. 
the, the end, the N is nasal and it's very quick. It's not Franz CC. It's not Fran CC. It's Fran CC. It's quick and it's nasal. When that happens, in Hindi, we do not write the whole letter. We just put a dot on top of this thing. And now we have to bring everything close. Oh, actually, I'm not going to bring everything close. I'm going to bring the second guy closer. Fran CC. Let's write it in Urdu. But in Urdu, this, this putting a da to pronounce the nasal N sound, this putting a da to produce a nasal N sound, that concept does not exist. That concept does not exist in Urdu. In Urdu, we have to write the entire word. So here we go. For Ra, that's a noon, and then first C. So first C is going to take a C, C and a Ye. That's this guy right here, and then another scene and a year, right? This guy right here. That's how we write it. We need a noon. And that reads, that reads Francisi. What do you suppose Francisi is? Francisi is the language that they speak in France. That's how we say French. Francisi means French. Let's do one more pair, shall we? Dal, dal, which makes a da sound, and hey, we talked about the hey before, and a short ear. Hey, and a short ear means it's a body ki What do you suppose it reads? It reads dahi, dahi. That's how we join them. Dahi, dahi means yogurt. Let's do another pair. So here's another example of a letter that does not exist in Urdu, but it does exist in Hindi. Hindi has letter for all of these sounds. In Hindi, you have actual letters for B-H, uh, K-H, uh, T-H, and so on and so forth. We do not in Urdu. So what do we do when we have to do K-H? What do you suppose we will do in Urdu when we have to write K, since we don't have a letter for it? Well, we, talked, we already talked about it. We'll do exactly what the We'll do exactly what we do in English. We'll just put our K and an H together. So here is our calf, which, which is a K, plus H, which is our choti here. There you go. And that will make a curse sound. Curse sound. That, that's, a, that's that, not choti here, sorry. Do chashmi here. Do chashmi here. This guy is called He. One more time, I never made it clear. This guy is simply called hair, that's it. It's, that's all just called hair. And these two are called choti hair, they are called small hair. And this hair is called dochashmi hair. Dochashmi hair. There we go. And we put them together, it looks like this. This is a ka, it stops right there, this is the ka, and then you put a her next. Ka. And that is exact equivalent of Hindi letter ka. Exact equivalent. But in Urdu, we have other letter, a unique letter which makes a K sound, which is right here, A, K, somewhere there. We learned it. Oh, this is taking too long. Three, four, five. Right there, on day number seven, day number four, we run K. And again, you see there is a dot underneath it. That dot is to remind us that we're talking about this K. Right there, they are both Ks right there. K plus H, which is this one, and K with the dot. In Urdu, we have another letter called K, and since this this letter does not exist in Hindi, but it does make a K sound, but not this K, not K, just K. So when we have to write this thing, we put a dot underneath to remind ourselves that we are dealing with this K. So if anything that is written in Urdu, Urdu with this K, in Hindi we will write a K with put a dot underneath it. Anything with, that is written with K H, we have to put calf and a H together. Enough of the talk, let's write the word. So we had meaning a K. K and H. K. And then we need a T. T. That's a T. We learned it already, T. Somewhere here we learned it, right? There is a T on day number three. That's a T. T is called T. It makes a T sound. And then we need a Y, Choti Ye, and an Alif. 
छोटी है एंड अलेफ एज यू नो ऑलरेडी वन छोटी है और बड़ी है वन छोटी है और बड़ी है वन दे अपीयर इन द मिडल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दे चेंज देयर शेप इट चेंजेस द शेप एंड इट लुक्स लाइक दिस एंड व्हेन वी कंबाइन इट विद द अलेफ इट बिकम्स लाइक दिस सो दैट्स व्हाट वी हैव टू डू हियर सो वी वांट टू राइट या एट द एंड वी वांट टू राइट या एट द एंड सो इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू स्टिक लाइक दिस इट्स गोइंग टू लुक लाइक दिस and now it reads khatya the word is not khatya it missing e ki matra under the te is khatiya khatiya i didn't know what the hell it was i had to look it up and apparently it tells me that there is a small bed khatiya i think this is something what we call in pakistan a charpai khatiya khatiya has a t khatiya has a e ki matra right here under is the t The next one we has has a body ki matra, but it's a very simple word. So I'm going, I'm just going to write it here. So here's our sheen. It's going to join the alif, and when it joins the alif, it looks like this. Two of two of these for sheen, and then one more for alif. It's a sha. Sha. That's a dal. Dal is a dove. And we have a body ki matra in here. We have a body ki matra because that's what we are about to do. We just did the short ki matra. Shadi. That's how you write shadi. Shadi. Dal does not join anything. Shadi. Let's do the next one. P. Y. P and then we're going to join lam and alif. P la. P la. You know what P la is? Except it can't sit like this. How does it join? Well, this guy's just going to move closer. That's all. He just gets up and moves closer because he wants to join the party. P la. You know what P la is? P la means yellow. That's a body ki matra because. If you would write it separately, that's a p, and a chotti e, that's p, and then lam and alif. It has two matras, badi ki matra and a ki matra. Pila, as in yellow. Let's do one more word. Shall we? Are you ready for one more word? Let's do one more word. There's a new word. Nila. Nila, nila is in, nila is in, blue, blue. It has body ki matra and a ki matra. Nila. We have to join them together. Obviously, we can't leave them like this. Nila. Nila. Notice how the dots came out. There's two dots. I was just too lazy to make put two separate dots. That happens. That happens sometimes. Nila. Let's learn one more word, shall we? Let's do one more word. Are you ready? Here we go. Nilam. You know what nilam means. Nilam means auction. Nilam. Let's do a word with a choti ki matra. Let's do a word with a choti ki matra. There is your alif. That's a noon. And it's going to join ka. Ka k. Ka plus alif. Ka. So we know when it's about to join something, it takes this shape. Ka becomes this shape, and it's about to join Aleph. It's going to become this. And then Re. O, No, Ka, Ro. As you can clearly see, there is no such word, Ankar. Ankar is not what we're looking for. We are missing choti ki matra. Which letter is going to take choti ki matra? Do you think? The first letter, O, oh, has to turn into E. Since O oh turns into E, in Urdu we can just put a Z underneath and fix it. But Hindi we cannot. We have to because E. Remember E has a unique letter. In, in Hindi, the sound E is a unique letter, so it has to be written like this. In car, the word is in car. We have to join them. How do we join them? 
But this guy just going to get up and move closer. That's all. Let me write it properly. In the written form, it should look like this. Notice how I wrote it without lifting my hands too many times. Let's do one more time. This N and a K like that. In car. In car as in refusal, as in denial. Let's do one more. I keep looking at the clock because this video is going to be too long. But obviously, I already I was going to do only two parts for the bird two. I was only going to do two two parts for the for the Iki Matra. Two parts turn into three parts, and now three parts have turned into four parts, and I don't want to keep making parts, so I have to finish everything that's on the list. Because I already have the words for the next video that I want to do in the fourth part. I'm going to keep on going until it finishes. Let's do the next word. O Mo To he and Alif are going to join together. That's going to become Ha and a No. We'll worry about how to join them. Let's first write them in Hindi. O To Oh, sorry. O Mo Mo To Ha That's a Ha and then a Noon. No. What does it say? It says Amtahan. Amtahan is not a word. The word we're looking for is Imtihan, not Amtahan. Imtihan. We need a Zer underneath it. And this O is going to turn into an E. Imtihan. Imtihan. You know what Imtihan is? Imtihan means exam. But the question is how are we going to join all this thing? Let's learn it, shall we? It's going to, by the time we finish putting it together, it's going to look very, very different. So let's begin. First of all, when this guy joins something, the H becomes like this. When meme joins something, the meme starts from the top and goes to the bottom. But when it's about to join something, it starts from the bottom and shows like this. But it's not going to join the Alif. So here we go. E M T and then Ha and then Noon. Im to Han. Imtihan. Imtihan. That's how you write Imtihan. That's how you write exam. Imtihan. I'm going to write this one more time. I'm going to write the same word one more time. But this time I'm going to do it a little bit differently so it doesn't look babyish. Im to Ha, that's how it's written. That's how it's written. You see how I wrote? Here we have to lift the hand. We have to do the to and then the ha. You don't do that. You do the to and then you continue with the ha. Imtihan. That means exam. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. The next word starts with ain. So we need a. Then we have a show. Sheen. And then we have a k. But this time, let's talk very quickly about the k. We are, we are about to learn a letter that we have not learned before. This k right here. This is also ka. This is also k. And it looks like this. And it's called calf. Just like the other letter also. This letter is also called calf. This letter is also called calf. But it doesn't have a grotto sound. It's just k. This is just k. And the other one is k. That's this one. K as in kalam. That's that k. It doesn't exist in Hindi. It's an Arabic sound. But some words in Urdu require this k. So when the when when the writer knows that it requires this k, then he or she will write a k here like this. Sorry, not like that. Like the regular Hindi k. 
Not like that either. And yet to remind ourselves that we're talking about k, we're talking about k, and not a k, we put a dot. This dot reminds us that we're looking for this k. This is kaf and this is kaf. There we go. And this has to have a dot underneath it because it has two dots. Let's see what it reads. It says ashk, ashk. No, ashk is not what we're looking for. It needs a choti ki matra, it needs a zair. It needs a zair, and since it says zair, a becomes e, and now we have to convert this a into a e. And now the word is ishk, not ashak, ashk, ishk, ishk as in love. All you have to do is put them together, ishk. So when it's written in a small form, it looks like this. You put a zair underneath it. The show when it's written in this small form, it just looks like this, just two of them, that's it. And finally we join the curve. Ishq. As in, as in love, as I said. I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to stop right here, even though I still have three more pairs to go. But I think it's better I stop here. I'll, I'll see if I can incorporate them in the next video. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow we'll do part four. Today was a part three of Iki Matra. Tomorrow is going to be very last, very last day of Iki Matra, and day after tomorrow we're going to start the third Matra. We did Aki Matra. We are finishing Iki Matra, and then day after tomorrow I'll do either Uki Matra or Oki Matra, and then we'll leave Eki Matra until the very end. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.